Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 28th and 29th week pregnancy update. <laughs> Right, so this week, well, over the last couple of weeks, I've had um, a couple of appointments. I had one with the midwife, which was at 28 weeks, and she took my blood. She did blood pressure, urine, the, just the usual midwife checks, check baby's heartbeat. Everything was... My Valeria. Everything was completely fine. Um, the heartbeat was 155 beats per minute, um, which she said was slightly faster. I think that it should be around 140, but it's well within the what it should be, which is completely fine. And the baby was moving around quite a lot, so that's probably why. <laughs> and I also went for my anti-D injection at the hospital because of my rhesus negative blood type, which I was absolutely dreading. I'll be honest, I, I I remember it with Corbin. I remember it with the girls, you have to actually have two injections. With Corbin, it was just one, and with this one, it's just it's just one, it's a higher dose. And I remember it really hurting with Corbin. Um, but this time, it wasn't that bad, because she, um, she told me to scrunch my toes up while she was doing it, and um, she just, put it in really really slowly and honestly it didn't hurt at all I couldn't believe it so I went on and then I just had to wait I think 20 minutes in the waiting room afterwards to make sure I had no reactions and then that was it we could go so that's them two appointments that I've had this week my next midwife appointment is booked for 34 weeks which is two weeks after I have my consultant appointment and my my next scan, which is um, an extra growth scan that I'll be having due to previous children being slightly small. Right, symptom wise, it's nothing has really changed much from like the previous update. Um, I'm still getting the dry skin um i'm still getting oh, a major heartburn i did actually buy the gaviscon like is that i don't know what it's called is it like advanced or extra strong or I, I don't know what it is but like it's the one in the pink bottle and i don't think it's made much of a difference to be fair but yeah i've still got that really bad i'm still getting braxton hicks every now and then and I'm still getting that pain in my side that I mentioned on my last update. Like I'll be, I'll wake up in the night and it'll be like a stitch pain down one side of my my tummy. I actually had it today, but I had it this morning, not in the night. And it'll just maybe go on for like 10, 15 minutes constant. My tummy's not hard at all when I'm getting the pain, and it just feels like like a stitch or like I've pulled something. And and then it'll just it'll just go away, and then that'll be it. So I'm not quite sure if that is like round ligament pain or something like that, but. I'm still getting that every now and then. I'm just trying to think, there's not really been that much else. Oh, when I went to the hospital to have my anti-D injection, she checked the blood that the midwife took a couple of days before and my iron is slightly low. It's nothing, not majorly low, it's like kind of borderline. But she said, have you been, have you been feeling okay? And I said that does explain why I have been starting to feel a bit more out of breath again, a little bit dizzy. Um, when we're walking around, like if we're going in, if we're going to town or something like that, I am feeling like quite funny, and I have to sit down. So that could be that. So I've got some ferro sulfate iron tablets that I've got to take one a day. I'm fine. I'm feeling so heavy now, though. Like I really feel like I'm heavily pregnant now like my tummy just feel I don't I don't know how it's gonna get any bigger like it just I feel like I'm going to pop like my ri like I don't know like just so high up I don't know how it's gonna get any bigger it is crazy I honestly feel so big now one other thing I just thought I'd mention um I know when you're pregnant now you get offered the whooping cough jab um, I didn't with Corbin or the girls. I think it, it's it come in. It must have come in just 
just after I had Corbin and I remember I wasn't allowed the whooping cough injection when I was little because um, someone in my family just just up reasons and the doctor said that like they did well the doctor advised my mum for me not to have it so I ended up getting an open cough when I was when I was little because I couldn't have the injection so then when the midwife mentioned it like I'm sure like I couldn't have that when I was younger and I've been thinking about it and because you, you have like up to is it 32 34 weeks that you can actually have the jab up to or they recommend you can have it up to I'm not quite sure and I was gonna get another doctor's opinion and see if things have changed over the years and things like that but I've just been thinking to be honest I don't think even if a doctor said to me now oh yeah it'll be fine it's fine now you can have it I don't know if I'd dare I don't know if I'd risk it because obviously back then there was a reason why I couldn't have it like I don't know so I'm just I'm just not gonna bother I'm just not gonna have the whooping cough injection so yeah I've decided on that this week and I think me that's about it I will just um oh I just thought I'd show you this little wedge I bought this quite a while ago now but it's coming in so handy in bed on a night time like people have their massive pregnancy pillars that like cover them and everything and I've never had one I've always just had one of these are from mother care I think they're only like about 10 pounds something like that and I absolutely love it it is just like a doorstop a wedge for your bump so like when you lie down you just wedge it in and it is really good and also I mean I've, I got this as well like just a long pregnancy pillar from from Argos it's quite long um, and I use that as well like I wrap it around my back and things but this like I'll wrap that around my back and then I'll just have this stuck in my bump and it just relieves so much pressure so I just thought I'd show you because I like it yeah I'll just go on to baby now I'll um bring up the apps on baby center app I'll just pull that one up it says at 29 weeks at 29 weeks your baby weighs over 1.1 kilogram which is 2.5 pounds and about 38.6 centimeters which is 15.2 inches from head to toe he's about the size of a butternut squash that is massive that is big and it also says the brain which was once smooth is gaining some new folds and grooves because it's coming more complex which is really cool yeah and this week the great the grain the brain growth um is requiring more than half of the energy used by your baby which is really interesting and by the end of your third trimester the brain will have created billions of neurons so that's on that one and then i'll go over to ovia because i think this is really cute it says this week your baby is the size of a new english cottontail rabbit which also looks really big look at that a Barbie convertible car. <laughs> Fruit and veg, let's see what this one brings up. Oh, a pineapple. I think that's it. And if you've been hearing anything while I've done this video, it's this little pug here. She's been snoring her head off by my feet. Aren't you? Right, yes, thank you for watching. That was my 28 to 29 weeks pregnancy update. I cannot believe next week I'm on the final countdown. Like, I'll be 30 weeks. Well, tomorrow I turn 30 weeks. So then I'm on the 10 week countdown. I can't believe it. So, oh yeah, I'll show you my bump. Look at that now. It's massive. My goodness, you see what I mean about how big it's it's just so big look at the tattoo now I told you this would be interesting so that's it thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe oh my goodness thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and we will see you in our next video goodbye <laughs>